What's going on guys, it's your boy Mr. Woz and in today's video I'll be testing another money maker from the OSRS wiki and this time it's cooking raw chickens. Now I'm going to go through all of these money makers no matter how tedious the method is and I'll try and make as much profit as possible and I'll switch things up depending on what you guys want me to do in the comment section below. Now before I get into this method let's see if we can smash 40 likes on this video, I know you guys can do it. And as most of you guys know, I want to do a 100 mil giveaway when I eventually hit 3,000 subscribers. And all you have to do to enter is like the video, comment with your RSN and subscribe to my channel. And I'll pick an email at random and one of you lucky people will be 100 mil richer. Now, Cooking Raw Chickens was released on the 4th of January 2001, which is the same release date as RS2. And this is actually a decent money maker whilst being very AFK without spending much GP. And this is great for free to play players as well to gain fast GP per hour as well as XP per hour. Now according to the OSRS wiki you can make around 85k and 800 GP profit per hour. Which is not too bad considering there's little to no effort when doing this method. You can also gain up to 39k cooking XP per hour which is not too bad either. The wiki also mentions that you need around 1,300 raw chickens which should be enough for an hour of this method as that will cost you around 129k. Now we class this as a low tiered money maker as you don't need much GP as well as low requirements. Now before getting to the requirements I'm going to explain why I'm cooking the chickens outside Lumbridge Bank. So as you can see there is 4 normal logs on the floor outside the bank and using a tinder box on the logs will create a fire so you can cook the chickens. Hence why I have a tinder box in my inventory at all times. I would advise to uh, light the log closest to the bank which is what I'm doing and that means banking is just a few steps away from the fire. Now this fire will last just over one minute before you have to relight the log again as it will respawn pretty much instantly and this is the perfect amount of time to cook in full inventory of food. This also saves your running energy from draining as you're close to a bank and I just think this is the perfect place and you're also gaining some fire making XP in the process as well. Now there is a number of areas in free to play worlds to cook the food and bank and there is two alternatives if you don't fancy cooking in the same place as me. So first is using a range at Doris's house in Edgeville which is directly west of the bank and the second best option is the range at Al Karid. Now the only problem about these two alternatives is your run energy will end up draining to zero which will force you to walk to the range and bank. This will obviously decrease your GP and XP rates per hour somewhat. Okay so for the requirements for this method you technically only need level 1 cooking to start cooking the chickens. But level 34 cooking is recommended and at that level you will stop burning the chickens. So it is also a very easy level to get to as well and won't take you very long at all. And of course the other requirement is to have at least 120k to make this method worth doing. Now what I like about this method is that it's nice and AFK taking around 60 seconds per inventory which is really nice as you can watch movies or do other activities to save you watching your screen constantly. Another reason why I like this method is because it's for free to play players and I know this money maker seems a bit basic but I will go through all the free to play money makers to help all the new and active players and hopefully they have helped you out so far. One other reason why I like this method is because you're guaranteed to sell the cooked chickens in a grand exchange for a medium price, sometimes higher depending on the demand. Now apart from the cooked chickens only healing 3 HP at a time, cooked chickens can be used for ingredients to make meat pizzas and you gain 26 XP per pizza made. An uncooked stew which doesn't give you XP for making, also the raw chickens itself gives you 30 XP per chicken cooked. A raw chicken is needed during the quest recipe for disaster to access the lair of the evil chicken and is also needed in the quest Eggdar's Ruse, I think I've said that right, and you need 5 raw chickens as part of making a fake man which is needed to fool the trolls. You can also obtain raw chickens from a bunch of monsters all around RuneScape but the main one is killing chickens, obviously, and you can get one raw chicken every kill. And as the chickens don't actually damage you, this is perfect for brand new players to obtain raw chickens whilst gaining some combat XP as well. 
Now what makes this method profitable is that you can sell the cooked chickens in the Grand Exchange for 165 GP each and as the raw chickens are 99 GP each you'll make 66 GP profit per chicken which is not too bad at all. Now there is some tips and tricks as usual that will help you do this method efficiently and this will help you make the most amount of GP and XP per hour. So the first tip is to help with your speed and that is to use bank filters. Now I know I've done this on a few of my recent videos but this is going to help you out with this method. So all you need to do is enter the bank, click on the wrench icon in the top right and then at the bottom just click on all where bank filters are. Once you've done that click the wrench icon again and your bank will be filled with filters. So as you can see I have the raw and cooked chickens next to each other and this will help me withdraw them a little bit faster and this will improve my GP and XP rates just that little bit more. And the last tip is when you're lighting the fire. Now this doesn't improve efficiency but it's just something I thought new players might not know and it can be handy for some people. So apart from using a tinder box on the logs like you normally do, you can also right click on the log and light them as well. As long as you have the tinder box in your inventory you can light it that way as well. So I'm almost at the hour mark now and normally I would give a downside to this method but I really can't think of one just because it's a really good money maker for new free to play players considering it is a low tiered money maker and it's fast GP as well as XP per hour whilst AFKing. Now I'm not sure how many of these free to play money makers I'm going to be doing until I end up going back to members money makers but I think I will be doing a few more and then I will alternate between the two just to switch it up a little bit and if you've got any free to play suggestions let me know in the comment section below. Okay so that is the end of the hour now guys so let's price check all the chickens that I have cooked and see how much profit I have made. Okay so here is all the raw chickens I have cooked within the hour and I have made 1,241 so let's price check this and I have made 199k and 801 GP so let's round it off to 200k so it's not too bad at all. I also gained 37.2k in cooking XP as well. The website I use isn't working at the moment otherwise I'll show you my XP within the hour so I do apologise about that. Now let's minus the supplies which I used and that was 1,241 raw chickens which cost me 122k 859 GP. So my total profit comes to 76k 942 GP so quite pleased with that. Now I know 77k isn't a lot of GP but this is a free to play money maker so don't expect meals an hour unless you want to become a member. But this is still great as this will help new free to play players out there to buy some combat gear or level up some skills using the profit from this method. Okay so let's go back to the OSRS wiki and it mentions you can make 85k and 800 GP profit per hour cooking 1300 raw chickens. I was somewhat uh, close to what the wiki recommends as I was only 9k GP short of the target as well as 1.8k XP short of the target as well. So a very accurate money maker and a profitable one as well with hardly any effort whatsoever. Now these money makers are really underrated as people don't really try them out and people may think the GP per hour is really bad but as you have seen on this video and my most recent videos you can make a nice amount of profit spending minimal in supplies and requiring no effort whatsoever especially with this money maker. So if you guys want me to test a certain free to play money maker from the OSRS wiki let me know in the comment section below and I will create that video for you as soon as possible. So that is the end of the video guys, I really hope you enjoyed this one, if you did smash that like button, comment below and let me know what you think about this money maker and of course subscribe to the channel if you are new for more old school RuneScape money making videos. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.